So my name is Prabhat Prakash. I am from Bihar. I completed my graduation from AKT University, Lucknow. Come to my experience, I have overall three years of experience in manual testing, mobile testing, accessibility, PEGA, and localization testing. And I worked before like Microsoft project. So starting from SCL, so I worked for Microsoft around uh, 1.5 year in Microsoft. So around nine project are there, so related to mobile testing and accessibility and manual testing. come to my second project that is high sport uh, it's a crm based uh, project and uh, i worked for pega and salesforce for that application and uh, i worked around one year and after that uh, like for i got a chance to uh, relocate to google client so i worked for google client in client location so i worked for google drive mobile uh, that is android and ios so i worked for that mobile testing also my roles and responsibility responsibility was understanding the requirement document requirement documents will be given clearly write review execute test cases and start performing testing smoke sanity regression functional testing and uh, like exploratory testing ad hoc testing if any bug found bug reported to the developer and uh, daily uh, daily like giving the task to team and uh, like after submitting the uh, like uh, daily report to client Okay. Okay, Prabhat. What is? The, can you tell me the bug life cycle? Cycle. Yeah, bug life cycle starting from new, new like if you if you found any bug and raise a bug, so it's uh, in new condition. So uh, like it's in new stage. So after that, assign to developer. So it's showing assign stage. After that, reopen. Uh, uh, after that, uh, like uh, that bug is fixed. So that is in fixed stage. After that, uh, uh, like uh, we will verify that and close that. Uh, three more are there uh, deferred duplicate and rejected uh, deferred are like that bug is not impacted the uh, the priority is low and uh, developer said like yeah we will uh, fix in next release so they will uh, mark as deferred and duplicate say, uh, same tester like uh, two tester are found same bug and log that so that comes under duplicate and rejected that is not a bug so uh, intended or anything so that is uh, rejected from the dev side Okay, Next question: What is the difference between severity and priority? So severity, like uh, the customer workflow is impacted uh, for the functionality wise, so that comes under severity and priority we give. So that bug is impacted the functionality and the customer workflow. So we give priority to how soon developer will fix that bug. So that comes under priority. Okay. Next question: In the login screen, uh, customer logo is not displayed properly. So, what do you consider that is a high priority or low priority? Ah, uh, that is high priority uh, because logo is everything for customer. But low severity because uh, the customer workflow is not impacted. But logo is everything for customer. Okay. Next question: Like, what is negative testing? Yeah. So, negative testing like invalid data we give uh, like login uh, password should be uh, one to eight character. So we give uh, list uh, like starting from zero or uh, that is invalid. and boundary values comes under like that and uh, increasing from uh, like 8 to 16 character and password should be alpha numeric so we give uh, like a different data like star h and different data stars so we will check that negative scenario also like email okay. should be uh, proper email be valid email so we give invalid email and check that okay now what is the difference between normal testing and pega testing So normal testing, uh, like we also doing in functional testing, functional uh, testing like some functionality are there after that executing something uh, that is different. Uh, Pega testing is uh, comes under like UI testing. So uh, some pre uh, template are there, pre uh, defined template are there. So we go and uh, validate that thing. So that comes under the Pega testing. Okay, so if you are writing Pega test cases now, and you are writing manual test cases, what are the things you see whether like uh, which are additional compared to normal test cases? So for Pega test uh, testing, like uh, the uh, data should be uh, like uh, for uh, like uh, starting from one to five uh, hundred character. So that's the thing uh, like giving the uh, valid data and uh, check that application for uh, functional wise uh, like. we have a proper uh, document of uh, the frs and srs so we go with that and the screenshot are also attached for that uh, so we give the, the data and validate then after that we will successfully created uh, something so in pega like uh, we have the certain criteria like uh, starting from create and after that uh, like uh, five stages are there so after that release are there okay 
and everything. Okay. Can you tell me your test case template? What are the fields in that? So for test case templates, uh, template, uh, yeah. So uh, the test case template, test case ID are there. Uh, after that, three condition are there, and after that, test steps are there, and uh, uh, like after that, uh, execution and result remarks are there. So pass or fail or any comment are there. Uh, what about requirement traceability matrix you prepared? Yeah, RTM requirement traceability matrix for yeah, every what is the template for that? Yeah, for every requirement at least one test case should be written. So uh, we check the requirement like requirement is login functionality. So no, no, that's okay. Template just template. Yeah, t- uh, template under that uh, like scenario and test cases for uh, that template and the area wise the path and uh, the uh, field are there like for uh, device uh, specific or environment specific so environment are there so uh, remarks are there okay what is the difference between functional testing and performance testing so functional testing we check the functionality of the application uh, before the logic uh, they are uh, like for non uh, non functionality that is performance security so uh, like uh, uh, performance testing having low distress volume soak spike testing so application uh, running smoothly for, for the certain duration of time so that comes under the load so that comes under performance testing and functional testing like we giving the data uh, like login uh, password a- area are there so we giving the valid data and uh, users should be get able to log in so that comes under the, func- the functional testing okay. so what is uh, difference between gorilla testing and monkey testing uh, monkey testing randomly we check the like uh, we uh, define the path like uh, here is the chat so uh, clicking multiple time uh, without uh, without any knowledge about that like i don't know uh, like if i'm tapping in chat so what is the another window so after tapping like another uh, random tapping so that comes under uh, monkey testing and gorilla are i think uh, the same uh, for random t- uh, testing uh, of the application by clicking multiple times so that comes under gorilla Okay. Okay. Good. So, are you involved in the like uh, test plan preparation? Uh, yeah, no, not yet. But uh, I have knowledge about that. Okay. Just tell me some of the uh, like uh, fields in that. Yeah. For test plan, uh, like uh, at first, uh, like we go with the scenario. So for that scenario, we uh, coverage area, entry criteria, and exit criteria are there. So uh, that entry criteria, uh, like we have a uh, resources, so uh, the resources are available in uh, in the same place. Or like after that environment, we have in mobile and we uh, we have in uh, like VM, we have in uh, app live. So uh, that's the thing are there. So after that pre uh, pre request or pre condition are there like some test data are needed. So like account needed and password needed. I think for sales for sales for the account is needed for VM VM account is needed. So we will go through that account and uh, like all the things are there. So after that uh, like for test uh, uh, test step detail step about uh, the scenario. So uh, write a test case for that and after that like execution and like if any edge scenario are there so we will uh, add edge scenario in regression also and uh, like we are good to go to release so we release that and uh, that is the test closer uh, like uh, we executed all the cases like 100 cases are there and some edge cases are there we executed then after that exploit it done so we will good to go so we will release that in production okay next thing is tell me about the test life cycle starting from starting till end uh, okay so uh, test life cycle is requirement collection and after that uh, like test planning and uh, after that test designing and after that uh, environment setup and after that uh, test case execution and test closer okay so just to describe some like uh, like uh, in each phase right so what activities you are doing so, entry criteria and exit criteria also. Yeah, so requirement uh, collection from the requirement starting from the requirement, uh, what is the requirement, FRS, uh, so, uh, software requirement document and functional requirement, FRS uh, and SRS they are there. So understand the requirement after that uh, we will uh, prepare for the test cases for the scenario. So we have a scenario around uh, 10 scenario or 20 scenario are there. So we will cover uh, the scenario in the certain duration of SI. So around two week to four weeks. So we will uh, go with the 
scenario and write a test case for that and uh, like executed that and the is scenario uh, uh, the are there so we will cover it also that one and uh, like after that test planning uh, so planning having uh, like yeah, that uh, test data are there the environment setup are there so we will uh, set up the environment for execution purpose after that executed so who will set up the environment what test environment who will be setting yeah tester will visit uh, the tester uh, test environment and lead will tell uh, the environment like which environment we will go to test so uh, after that tester will set the environment like if needed vm so we will uh, test in vm so we have a uh, the id of vm so we will uh, like log in with the vm and execute like uh, in different uh, browser needed uh, edge browser or safari browser needed so we will go with the safari browser and test it that after that the test data are also there so we will test it and uh, like something different uh, like device testing are there so we will go with the device testing also some cases are there for device so we will test it and uh, like after that test closure are there so if any bug found so report it to the bug to developer and test closure okay no problem so what's the difference between smoke and sanity testing so a smoke testing developer and tester both will do that is a basic testing like any will come from the developer start uh, starting from so we will uh, do a smoke testing like basic testing url it, entering the url hitting the so url how much time we will, uh, you will spend for that yeah basically uh, any will come from the starting so, so uh, like uh, that a uh, small functionality are there so we will uh, take to uh, 5 to 10 minute to enter the url and dashboard should be log in and user should be able to log in so uh, any uh, like uh, any requirement came so at first uh, we will do smoke testing basically we test uh, tested that and the main like every functionality are there like uh, lots of functionality are there so it will take time to one and two hour Okay. Next question is what is defect leakage? So defect leakage uh, like in tester environment. So we test uh, we are tester. So we miss the uh, some bugs. So in production uh, client or uh, like end user found that bug. So that comes under bug leakage. Okay. Fine. Okay. Mm, so like uh, currently we are in uh, Pega testing, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I worked uh, before. In... I worked before for high sport project. In Pega testing, and after that, I uh, worked uh, for Google. So that is the mobile-based application, and uh, I work for mobile-based application and accessibility in Google Drive Mobile. Okay, so testing related. Uh, what are the domains you work with? I work for Salesforce and uh, like Pega accessibility manual mobile and uh, different so domain are like banking. Yeah, like yeah, that. different uh, domain are there uh, like cloud-based application that is uh, Google Drive, and I work for uh, like uh, e-commerce application. Around nine project are there in Microsoft, so that is comes under e-commerce and uh, that is comes under uh, money. So uh, I think travel. So that is the page MSN Microsoft Network page are there. So that is vendor to uh, weather and all the cards are there. So that's the different different things are there. Okay, SQL you have worked or you have knowledge? Uh, no, I didn't work. Uh, I didn't get a chance to work in SQL. You have knowledge? Yeah, I have basic uh, query knowledge. That is not uh, like if it is needed, I will learn. That is not too much. So I have uh, learned starting from like 2021. I forget all the things. API. Oh, no, no. API. Just one small question I will ask. Yeah. What's the difference between inner join and outer joins? I don't have uh, much idea. About. Okay, that's okay. okay. API I worked before uh, like Microsoft project. So using Fedler tool, I work for API. Okay, so if you get a chance to uh, again brush up, how, how much time it will take? Uh, it will take for SQL one week is enough. Okay. Okay, so what is your project duration uh, like uh, uh, long? Uh, which, which project you work for long duration? Uh, I think uh, Microsoft Project 1.5 year. Uh, I think I worked. You are with. in testing. Yeah. You are in testing in that. Yeah, yeah, tested. Okay, fine. So, can you tell me some test cases which you written in that project? So the test test cases was uh, like for web. Uh, there is a functionality like in Windows 10 or 11. So if you yeah. go with the weather card, or uh, you can see in uh, top uh, bottom uh, bottom right. So there is a weather card, uh, there is a one toggle, if you tap on that toggle, so it will be uh, opening one window, uh, a small window are there. 
सो इफ यू टैप ऑन द वेदर कार्ड और एनी ट्रेवल कार्ड और एनी थिंग मनी कार्ड सो इट विल बी रिडायरेक्ट टू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव पेज सो द टेस्ट केसेस वॉज लाइक नेविगेट टू लाइक सेटिंग गियर और एनेबल द टॉगल लाइक वेंडर टू वेब पेज सो इफ यू टैपिंग ऑन मनी कार्ड और इफ यू टैपिंग ऑन वेदर कार्ड सो इट विल बी रिडायरेक्ट टू वेब पेज सो दैट इज द फर्स्ट केसेस एंड आफ्टर दैट नेविगेट टू लाइक car section and navigate to travel section so users should be able to uh, navigate and users should be able to uh, open that full pages of window so after that uh, uh, like uh, adding something in cart so you can able to add that car something product are there so yeah, users should be able to add that product and after that uh, like purchase amount are there so if you Uh, go with the like payment phase so you should enter uh, uh, like there is a amount something and uh, there is a payment method are there payment gateway are there like card payment are there and upi payment are there so you are able to payment and uh, there is a localization and globalization testing are also there if you are in, uh, in india so that is comes under enin so it's showing money is uh, rup in rupees if you are in us page so en us if you change that en us so that is comes under dollar Same for same for mobile in Google Drive. So that is the uh, test cases are there for uh, like uh, launch uh, drive and navigate to uh, like add button or navigate to plus icon. So it will be uh, showing six type of file like uh, Google Sheet, Google Slide, and uh, the like some folder are there. So users should be able to create folder and add something uh, from the phone memory. So. they will add something and uh, upload something and they will rename and all the things share are there okay okay bro next question is i am giving you login screen for login screen how many test cases you can write so for login screen uh, for login and password field i think around uh, 15 plus the test cases and password is there some buttons are there so exempt that and how many test cases you can write around can you write more than 10 yeah 15 around easily 15 test cases are there like uh, can you tell me yeah oh, one is that uh, like giving valid email and valid password and click on login so users should be able to login because it, it's a valid data so that uh, login page is clickable and uh, the user uh, entry area that is email area so users should be able to uh, navigate that area and uh, enter the data uh, valid detail and password should be a click able and enter the valid detail about that and after that uh, like giving invalid email and uh, valid password and uh, click to login so it's showing uh, like yeah email is incorrect and uh, the pop up is showing uh, that is not valid data so after that uh, like giving invalid email invalid password giving valid email invalid password giving invalid email and invalid password so that's got the things are there and after that uh, like uh, 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 giving the data uh, like uh, the email should be uh, at the rate gmail dot com or some domain. So we are giving invalid email uh, for that area and uh, like password should be zero to eight characters. So we will give increasing the password field or uh, giving the invalid password to test that. So that's comes under. Okay. Thanks, Prasant. It was nice talking to you. Yeah. Uh, thank you. So. Okay. Yeah. We'll be- Yeah. yeah, we will let you know like for next step. Like, okay. Yeah, I have a question on that. Uh, like, uh, can you suggest me which area I should improve? So it will be helpful for me to improve. Uh, just uh, like uh, uh, anyway, SQL, I didn't cover more, but I think yeah. So you told right? If required, you can brush yes, up. Yes, yes. If required, it. yeah, I learned around uh, many things. Uh, I didn't mention in uh, my CV. Because I uh, work on short duration of time, short sales force or anything. So okay. the CV was shortlisted for sales force only. Queries, queries also you can like if you get a chance you can write the queries also, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Nice talking, bro. Yeah. Thank Akash. you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.